This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk about networking. What can we network between the Helix series to another Helix series or in this case I'm going to also show you what you can do if you want to network a Helix and an Onyx on the same network. We're going to jump in here and show you some different configurations and what the possibilities are. So I hope, that, hope this helps you learn a little bit more about the Humminbird products and the differentiations between the different series they have and the abilities and capabilities they have. In this setup we have the Humminbird Helix 9 side imaging. It doesn't matter the 910, um, but this is going to be a Helix. I'm going to walk back to the Onyx that's on at the console that I have the Ethernet connection connected from this unit to that unit. I'm going to mark a waypoint on there and you'll see it show up on here. I'm going to set it as a purple duck Waypoint 89. You see Waypoint 89 shows up as a duck here. I set it from the, from the Onyx to the Helix and it'll share Waypoint information back and forth between those two units. Now as far as networking, we're going to come over here to menu, hit menu twice, will get us to the master menu. If you come over to the network tab, this is where you can name your unit. This is where you can do source setup. If you look at this, this is going to show you the sonar technologies and the GPS is where you can subscribe to that data on a network. 2D sonar, we can only subscribe to the Helix 9. We can subscribe for advance from the compact side imaging transducer or from the 360 to do our down imaging and side imaging. We can also subscribe to 360 on this unit. We have temp1 which is coming from the side imaging transducer and our GPS is coming from the Helix 9. That is using the network between a Helix and an Onyx. So there's no technology sharing between the Onyx to the Helix. But we can share GPS waypoint information between the two. And we'll just exit back out here. I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to move over here. And I'm going to hit mark. And we're going to create waypoint two. Now let's go back to the Onyx and see if we, this is the waypoint created by it, this is the waypoint created, we just created waypoint two, and they should show up on that unit. If we look here, here was the waypoint we created on the Onyx, here's the waypoint we created on the Heat. Now one way that you can look at this is we can go look at waypoint number two in our list, it's, we're on nav data, we come up here, you can see waypoint 89 was created in my data, Waypoint number two was created by the Humminbird Helix 9 SI. So we're sharing waypoints back and forth between an Onyx and a Helix. So if you want to share data, GPS data, you can put a Helix and an Onyx on the same boat, network them, and share between the two units. Now as you can see, here's that waypoint number two that we created on our Helix. When I connected the Ethernet to the Helix and fired it up, it actually automatically started sharing that waypoint. So if we wanted to go up here to the road and hit mark, we've created waypoint number five. That will actually share between the Helix's units. Let's just run up and check it here real quick. Now when we come up here to the bow, we can see our waypoint 2 that we created on this unit. But we can see waypoint number 5 that was created on the Helix 10 back there. And shares to this unit. So it will share both directions. 
Now we're going to jump over here. We're going to hit menu twice. And we're going to come over here to network. This is our Helix 9. Now our network source setup. We have our status. We have our 2D. We can select the 2D sonar from the Helix 10 or the Helix 9. Whichever one we want to use. This is a good insurance policy uh, if you're running a network that if you have a transducer failure while you're out there fishing that day, you can come down here, check that box, and you've got 2D sonar. We're going to leave it on our Helix 9 uh, because it's at the bow here on our side imaging transducer that's on the trolling motor. But hit exit, we come back, advanced sonar, we can see that we can get advanced sonar from the 360, the Helix 10 Di GPS unit, or the Helix 9 Si GPS unit. So you have multiple selections as far as the advanced sonar system. Here is our 360. We can choose our temperature based on the Helix 9 or the Helix 10. Actually, my preference is to use the transducer that's on the transom of the boat because the sun's not hitting, it's not warming by air, you've got the same readings both bow and stern. So we'll set that up, we'll come over here to Helix to attempt two, and we'll use this second one if we need a second temperature reading. And GPS, this allows us to choose the Helix 9 or the Helix 10 as our GPS. And we're using the internal receiver on these, there is an option to add the heading sensor GPS. So we have technology sharing both uh, with sonar and GPS with the Helix series networking back and forth. One of the features of doing an Onyx to an Onyx is map sharing. As you can see here we've just got our base map. There is no map card in our SD card readers here. I have none in the back unit and I'm going to just leave the camera on this unit and I'm going to go insert this card in the back unit. I have inserted the card in the rear unit and bam you instantly see map sharing between the two units. You can see the contours show up with no SD card reader, SD card in either one of the reader slots. That's one of the values of the Onyx is map, is map sharing between the two units. We're just going to zoom in here. There's our waypoint that we created earlier, but we're just going to come over here. We'll hit our mark button. We'll hit waypoint. And we're going to come over here and do a red house. And we'll exit. Now we've got a red house and a purple duck. Those are two waypoints. One create the red house created on this unit, the purple duck created on the other unit. And I'm going to show you where those show up on the back unit. Now that we've returned to the console Onyx 10 here, I'm just going to zoom in. We can see the lake contours. This We can see that our map card is down here in the bottom card reader. We can see our purple duck and we can see our red house. So waypoint sharing is available with the Onyx to Onyx networking. Now the other thing is you can come to home and you can come here to settings and you can come down here to my, you're going to come to network and you can come up here to network information. It's going to show you this unit, the remote unit, which is our front unit, our ethernet switch, our 360 imaging is the components that are on this network. And you can share everything back and forth. You can have a Onyx 10 side imaging unit as we have here with our remote one being a 2D sonar and we can see all the different network sharing available. Side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar, 360 can all be shared back and forth between the units as long as one of the units is capable of performing that on your network. 
You can come up here from your so from your network tab to sonar. You can come to sonar source and you can see everything that's available. There's our 2D sonar. The where we can get it from, we can get it from that from our that unit or we can get it from the Onyx 10 up in front. We've got down imaging. It is only available from the back unit because it's the only one that has a down imaging transducer. If the bow had the 2D down imaging transducer, you could subscribe from it there. Side imaging can be subscribed from the side imaging transducer or the 360, and the 360 is going to come from the 360 unit. So this shows you what networking capabilities back and forth. We'll jump up to the front and I'll just show you the same menu that is available up there. Now that we're back at the front unit, we'll come over here, we'll come back up to settings, come down here to network, we'll just look at it, glance at it real quick again. We can come up here to network information. And we can see the Onyx 10 2D, the remote unit, the Ethernet switch, and the 360 imaging is shown on this same unit. This is a Onyx 10 2D sonar only unit using the 2D sonar off of our universal sonar out of our trolling motor. But we can come over here to our sonar menu and sonar source and it's going to show us where we're getting our 2D sonar. We can see we're getting our 2D sonar from our Onyx 10 on the bow here with availability to subscribe to the, the back unit. Down imaging is coming from the back unit because we have no down imaging transducer on the front. Side imaging is coming from this from the back unit, the side imaging unit, we could subscribe to it from the 360, and 360 is coming from our 360 system. So Onyx is 100% compatibility as far as networking, even networking between units within the series. I hope that helped you understand the difference in the different networking options available from Humminbird and how you can use that to set up the network that's best for your boat and best for your budget. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and tune in next time when we go more in depth about these awesome products and what's available and how to use them and how to get the most out of them. Thank you and tune in next time.